Alright, let's try a little experiment here. It's supposed to be Pride Month, right? Let's take a ride through my little town here in Middle America and see how popular the movement is. Boston, Wisconsin, population 4,347. You would think in the whole of the town you'd see maybe a couple as popular as the, the movement is, right? It's the first local business. No front pride flag there. The local VFW, no pride flag there. The bus corporation, no pride flag hanging there. The local mechanic shop. No pride flag there. So far, it's not looking like it's too popular of a movement. Yet they play it off on the on the internet and the mainstream news like it's the latest craze sweeping the country. A little car lot here in town, no pride flag hanging there. All the houses have yet to see anything that resembles anything that looks like a rainbow. There's a flag. No pride flag there. Well, so far like a normal everyday town in middle America. So what's all the fuss about? Be a courteous driver and let this guy through even though I don't have to. Leave a little space in case somebody else wants to dodge through there. Alright, here we go, the, the heart of my little town. Not a pride flag in sight. Plenty of American flags hanging up there. I got zero problem with that. I actually don't have a problem with a pride flag either. As long as it's not hanging in a in a school or outside of school property or anything like that. There's a Ukrainian flag. And at least one person fell for the propaganda. Yep, plenty of American flags flying in my little town. Which I am damn glad to see. One place here in town that might have one. Let's go down there and take a look. But I'm doubting it. Because apparently, at least wise the way the story's going, them flags are bad for business. People aren't showing up with their tremendous support. As a matter of fact, they're staying away from any place that are flying those flags. Oh, there's one. There's one, one pride flag attached to a house there. But they're not littering the countryside, that's for damn sure. Me. 
maybe if you wanted the local ice cream shop, they're kind of liberal folks. But no, sir. more proud of their country than the diversity that, that we're, is being forced upon us. Alright, uh, the interests of time and storage space. We'll be back in All a right. Middle part of town here. Legs. So far the count is one. logical conclusion that any liberal could make from, from this little tour is that this town must be full of racist homophobes. Not true. It's actually some pretty nice people live in this town. On the other hand, there are some real pricks, too. But I suppose you get that wherever you go. Oh, there's one. Now the count is up to two. There's a lot more American flags flying. As well it should be. Because this is America after all. Buzz through the grocery store here. No pride flags on any of the businesses here. on any of the businesses to on local homes. We are taking well, not an extensive tour of my little town, but getting the full ride, that's for sure. nooks and crannies of Mauston, Wisconsin that you're not going to see. But the overall consensus seems to be nobody really cares. Nobody sees it as a huge issue that they need to throw their support behind it. is definitely not the narrative or the storyline that's being pushed on the rest of us, that's for damn sure. We'll keep our little tour going.
this. Right, we'll this be is right what back. I say about it, my attitude about it, and what everybody's attitude should probably be. I don't care what your preference is. It doesn't matter to me. I, 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 I don't care. Swing that thing any way you like. Just don't swing it in my face. Or the face of the children. That's how I see it. And I'm pretty sure if you could get the average person's take on it, they'd say the same damn thing. And that's why there's such a pushback against it when you start saying things like we're coming for your children. And that would be my guess as to why we haven't seen any pride flags hanging in my little town. Because they attach that stigma to themselves early on, and nobody's down for that shit. Not now, and not ever. And whoever is behind it, pushing that philosophy, thinking that eventually we'll change our minds, <laughs> you got another thing coming. That ain't gonna happen. As a matter of fact, it'll only make us more stubborn in our resolve. And if they don't see that, they truly are blind. my favorite care. thing to do on my way out of town. It says 55. Don't say anything about how fast you get there. Don't believe me? Try me.